our national identity has emerged through a long drawn process of confluence, assimilation, and coexistence. The multiplicity in culture, faith, and language is what makes India special. We derive our strength from tolerance. We accept and respect our pluralism. We celebrate our diversity. There have been a part of our collective consciousness for centuries. Any attempt at defining our nationhood in terms of dogma and identities of religion, region, hatred, and intolerance will only lead to the dilution of our national identity. As Sarshad Babuli Rasakrishnan said, any differences that may appear are only on the surface, but we remain a distinct culture, cultural unit with a common history, a common literature, and a common civilization. Unquote. The Indian Constitution, consisting of 395 articles and 12 schedules, is not an instrument for administration, a legal document, but a Magna Carta of socio-economic transformation of the country. It represents the hopes and aspirations of billions plus people in India. From our constitution flows our nationalism. The construct of Indian nationalism is constitutional patriotism, which consists of an appreciation of our inherited and shared diversity, a readiness to enact one's citizenship at different levels, an ability to self-correct and learn from others. Distinguished guests, friends, I want to share with you some truths that I have internalized during my 50 years and more public life. As party activist, as member of parliament, as member of cabinet. The soul of India resides in pluralism and tolerance. This plurality of our society has come through assimilation of ideas over centuries. Secularism and inclusions are a matter of faith for us. It is our composite culture which makes us into a nation. India's nationhood is not one language, one religion, one entity. When I shut my eyes and dream of India, from Mijoram to Dwarka, from snow-capped Himalayan to way west, was kept Kamudin. I mesmerize how it is possible 1.3 billion people use more than 122 languages and 1600 dialects in their everyday life practice seven major religions in their everyday life, belong to three major ethnic groups, Caucasians, Dravidians, and Mongolites. Yet, under one system, one flag, one constitution, and one identity, which we may call Bharatiya. Indian. But we do not identify any enemy. That is, makes Bharat diverse and united nation. Every time a child or a woman is brutalized, the soul of India is wounded. Manifestations of rage are tearing our social fabrics every day we see increased violence 
around us. At the heart of this violence is a darkness, fear, and mistrust. We must free our public discourse from all forms of violence, physical as well as verbal. Only a non-violent society can ensure the participation of all sections of people in the democratic process, especially the marginalized and the dispossessed. We must move from anger, violence, and conflict to peace, harmony, and happiness. For so long, we have lived with pain and strife. I am addressing the trainees. You are young, disciplined, well-trained, and highly educated. Please wish for peace, harmony, and happiness. Our motherland is asking for that. Our motherland deserves that. Happiness is fundamental to the human experience of life. To lead a healthy, happy, and productive life is the basic right of our citizens. While we have done well in many macroeconomic areas, growth indicators, so, how India is emerging as the fastest growing state in emerging economy all over the world. But we have not fared well in the World Happiness Index. We rank 133rd out of 156 countries mapped in the World Happiness Report 2018. 